I grew up on the north side of Fort Pierce, Florida, man. Yeah, my mom and dad still alive. James and St. Jerry still moving strong, man. 48 years, marriage, eight children. I got four brothers and four sisters, man. Um, Jessica, Melissa, Cassandra, James, my oldest brother. You got me. And you got my brother Eric, my brother Dre, and my baby sister Erica. Four boys, four girls, eight children, every family. Well, the grown folks music R and B route. Um, it pretty much explains who I am as a person, as a man. You know, you're not grown by age. You're grown by heart and the mindset. You know, people think because they're like 40 and 50 years old that they're grown, but you got some 40 and 50 year old children out there, you know. And, but grown folks music, that's what, um, it's like feel good music to me. It uplifts me, you know, and I like to uplift other people that's around me or people that don't even know me. So the grown folks, R&B, the R&B part come from the smooth, the style that I, you know, put out to people, you know, grown, sexy, you know, grown man, dress nice, you know, your, your mindset is, you know, taking care of your family, taking care of self, you know, believe in God. So, you know, all those come into play when it comes to grown folks and R&B. You know, I, I can't, you know, be a street person, you know, all my life and I really didn't grow up in the streets, I just grew up in the hood, but you know, the grown folks music, that's pretty much explains who I am as a person. I just like to share with others. And that's why, I, that's how I came up with grown folks music, R&B. Wow, man, that's, to ask you a question, man, it's whenever I get time, you know, cause now I have a family, I'm married, you know, um, then my wife just took custody of our grandkids, so it's like my time. My time used to be all the time, but now it's like whenever I get time, so I say pretty much twice a week. But when I go in, um, you know, them two days a week, I'm in there for like at least four to five hours, man. You know, sometimes my wife, she beat me to bed, so <laughs> I just take my time, you know, continue to work on my craft and, you know, just try to come up with more hits and bangers, man. Yes, I am happily married. Um, we three years, we just made our three years this past March. And, um, but we've been together seven. Um, beautiful wife. Shouts out to Mrs. Taven Yerby. You know, and, um, we just do our thing, man. We're just a team. We work together. Um, we have a good time together through all the circumstances that's going on. Like I said earlier, you know, we got, we just finished school. We just finished college together. We graduated in December 2019. Um, she have a BS. I got my AS. You know, and, and we're just trying to build and live life, man, and enjoy the achievements together. Keep building and then inspire, I mean, inspire others that's around us. You know, other couples to show people our age that marriage do work. It just take it take work, but it, it works, man. It's, it's a great thing. It's a beautiful thing to be married. And I love my wife, man. The devil, everybody know that. So, yeah, man. Three beautiful years of marriage, seven years of being together. <laughs> hey, man, that's tough, you know, like... Well, it's not really tough. It's just like any other relationship. Don't I mean, man or female don't want nobody else coming and shooting in their space. But uh, you know, she she been real great with me on that. Uh, when it comes to disrespect, she she'll check it in a minute now. But as far as like just knowing that females gonna like my music and you know they gonna gravitate to what I'm doing, um, she she don't trip like that like. She ain't finna come and like try to stab on nobody and beat up nobody. But she just, you know, she a queen. She just demand that respect on the on you know on, on my end as well. You know, but as far as female f fan base, um, she don't trip about it. I got me a woman, man. I don't have no 
no little girl, so she ain't gonna throw no tantrum about, you know, female fan base. She, she know that come with the territory, so. But like I say, the disrespect, that's one thing she ain't gonna play with, so. That's, that's, that's pretty much it on that. Well, man, that's, we can be all day talking about inspirations, man. Like, I grew up, you know, in the church, which um, really, that's where my vocals from. And um, basically, um, inspiration came from, you know, church, gospel artists, like, you know, Commission, it's a group named Commission, John P. Key, um, you know, Rance Allen, um, Here's a Kyle Walker, um, there's a lot of gospel artists out there that inspired me, and then on the the R&B secular world, you know, I'm a big Gerald Avert fan. I mean, rest in peace to Gerald. Um, Charlie Wilson, man. Charlie Wilson, one of my biggest inspirations, cause that that man, he about 70 years old, he's still kicking and got those vocals, man. I, I hope I be that strong when I'm Charlie Wilson age, bro. Uh, you know, Jodeci 112, Boys to Men. Um, and it's a lot of female artists out there that inspire me, but you know, I don't sing female music, so you know, I don't sing the guys. So but I'm you know, I'm just big on that real soulful, you know, R and B, you know, even spiritual music, man, that's that's my inspiration, you know, so a lot of artists, you know, from the you know, the eighties, nineties, early two thousands, those a lot of them inspired me to do what I do today, so I just thank God, man, bless me with that gift and that talent to be able to do that. You know, and God, God, my number one inspiration. Because without Him, I wouldn't be able to do it. Man, my favorite artist, man. What did I say, man? Charlie Wilson. I'm big on Charlie Wilson and Gerald, man. Them, like my two biggest inspirations for us music wise, because they. You know, they longevity and they power and they strength in the music. Um, Charlie's still moving, man, so, you know, he, he one of my biggest friends. I mean, one of my biggest artists that I can say that I can put in that favorite category. Uncle Charlie. Man, music, it... First of all, music inspires me because of the, the vibe of music. You know, the vibe of music can soothe a person, it can soothe your spirit. And it's like artists, like a artist, a, paint, a painting artist. Um, that's why they call this the lab and they call music artists artists because you're actually painting a picture with your lyrics, you know, and once you paint that picture with your lyrics and, and delay that message, relay that message to the masses, it's up to them how they respond, whether they can relate to you or do they get the message or they can give you feedback, you know, like, oh, I ain't like that song or, man, that's one of the, my favorite songs. It inspired me. It's, it stopped me from committing suicide. It helped me and my wife get closer. You know what I'm saying? Like, it helped me and my family, you know, overcome obstacles and, that's my biggest thing with music, man. Like, it's almost like therapy. You know, any, anytime I come in, in the lab, man, it's like therapy. That I, I hear a beat, I vibe to it, I can, you know, get a tune to it, and that's what made me start writing and arranging music. And, you know, the rest is history, man. Once you put words and arrangement to, a, you know, a, a track, it become a record. You know, and you gotta, you have to have substance with your message, man. You can't just be out here throwing stuff at people and expecting them to catch it and, you know, eat it. But it's just like preparing food. You know, you gotta take your time, season it right, cook it right, you know. And then that's, that's when you give it to people, man. And so for them, you know, they gonna eat it, they gonna get with it, or they gonna be like, nah, man, you need to try something else, you know, so. That's 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 why I love the music, man. That's that's my passion. Oh um, man, it's a lot, man. Um, I'm gonna tell you how it first started, man. Shots out to Sean Morgan. 
uh, Big Fish Entertainment, man. He uh, he actually the reason for me recording like I do. Cause Sean, uh, he let us use his house, and I'm talking about my whole crew, uh, Big Fish Entertainment, uh, Fat Boy School, uh, that boy Two Nine. Uh, Fort Pill Willie, Marvel, Marcy White, um, Bird B, man, free that boy Bird B, uh, Big E, um, who else we had? Oh yeah, little Gutter C, uh, Michelle Britt, uh, yeah, Slim Goody, that's my cousin. What's up, cuz? Um, man, we had SDS. Um, who else worked with us? Oh yeah, LBG and Mike Smith from Miami, man. We worked with me and, me and Fat Boy School. We got a song with Mike Smith from uh, back in the day, man. We did a song called "I Want You," and um, but Sean used to let all of us come to his house and record, man, all day, all night, using up his electricity. <laughs> you know, it was just like it was our house. It was a studio house. We was recording, eating, using his bathroom, using his water. You know, sometimes, you know, taking showers, um, he's, he he make us feel no, you know, like feel bad about being in his house, man, because he saw a lot in us, and, um, man, I appreciate that guy, man, Sean, you know, that's, that's my brother, too, so, it's like, um, man, I, I, I work, like I said, I work with Fat Boy School, Marcy White, Chanel Goody, Fort Pills Willie, Bird B, um, Gutter C, uh, Biggie, uh, SDS, we work with them, and Flood Music, Bailey, shouts out to Flood, man, him and uh, his brother B, Brian, yeah, I work with uh, Bailey, that's a that's an awesome artist there, man, um, oh yeah, Compound Music, man, them boys from Stewart, them EA boys, uh, Compound Records, shouts out to Bozak and Lot Dizzle and Bait Bean, um, that but now, man, they 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 got a lot of boys. Um, what's his name, Mister Mister Compound, Big Boy. Um, man, that's a lot of people I don't work with, man. I can't even remember everybody, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's a lot, of, and it's a lot of artists I still want to work with, you know. And my man, shots out to my boy Gusta, man. That boy from Real Life Ent. Yeah, he he doing his gardening thing right now. That boy Gusta, man. Y'all y'all go look him up, man. He on YouTube. He doing this thing big time. Um, yeah, Gusta, man. Matter, matter of fact, man, Gusta just shot a video called Long Way, and that's gonna be one of I'm gonna say one of my best videos, songs, period, that I ever done, man. And um, I I came I approached him about the song. And, you know, me and him, we like a team, he he automatically just, it wasn't no question asked, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, how much money you gonna pay me? Or, uh, I gotta, you gotta talk to my manager type stuff. He just like, hey, you're a man, it's whatever. You wanna get it done, let's do it. And I'm the same way with him, you know, if he wanna do something, man, I'm, I'm there for him. So, uh, shouts out to Gooster, man, that's my bro, that's my work partner, you know. And uh, we, in the time we come in the lab, we make some, make some, some magic happen. So, um, who else I work with? As far as video, August man, you know Chaz, man, Chaz Production, but that <laughs> young, hungry, and professional, real professional, man. Uh, he about his business, do his thing, man. And I love working with him, man. Shouts out to Chaz Production, uh, DMP Films, David. Shouts out to him. He did my um, Living My Life video that I just um, did a year ago. And shouts out to DMP and that boy Nitro, man. Nitro was with us since Big Fish days. Nitro, shouts out to Nitro, um, Nitro TV. And he's an artist too. Nitro, he, he got bars for days. And y'all go get them shirts from him, man. He making Fort Pill shirts. He doing his thing, man. And as um, far as DJs, Man, my my biggest my biggest supporting DJ out there right now is uh DJ Slate Rock. DJ Slate Rock, um, he support me anytime I had an event, he come out, you know, he'll be on the ones and twos for me. 
You know, and man, shots out the sounds by Sleep. And he, he also my barber with that chop chop. Sleep my barber, man. Shots out to Big Sleep. Um, DJ, uh, DJ Lemmy, man, that's Slate cousin. Lemmy, um, I work with him. He be doing his thing with um, um, images of talent. And uh, he make his shirts and all his prints and stuff, man. And big shots out to DJ Lemmy. Um, and DJ Ty from uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, he with uh, Cash Money right now. Uh, DJ Ty, man, he, he be bumping me down there in uh, Lauderdale, Broward area. And shouts out to my boy Hill, Hill bro too, man. DJ Ty, that's my boy, man, the long way. And as uh, far as like radio broadcasting, man, my boy Jumpin' Joe, man. The good, bad boy radio, Jumpin' Joe, 91.1. Man, he been spinning my music for about two years now, man. And I hear a lot of people, they, 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 it's getting out to them. Them radio waves, that's the best way, to, one of the best um, avenues to get your music out to the, some of the artists, man. Y'all get on that radio. And, uh, yo, Jumpin' Joe, man, that's a big bro, man. I appreciate you. Everything y'all done did on that for me and um, 91.1 WJLP, man, Fort Pierce, Florida. Stand up. And um, that's pretty much pretty much it, man. Um, besides that, church, bro. <laughs> you know, that's what I do. I play drums, you know, do my thing with that. So, um... That's pretty much it who I really like just straight up work with. And there's some artists out there I wanna work with, man, but you know, we're gonna link up. You know, if God say the same, you know, just we're gonna keep working and see if we cross power, that's what it's gonna be. You know, that's it. That's all I work with, man. Man, it's a lot you can give an artist, but my main um, source of advice that I would give artists is um, invest in your brand, man. First of all, love what you do. And, uh, you know, once you have that passion, then you that's when you start investing, spending your time, you know, um, like I say, uh, perfecting your craft on a constant basis, you know, and always um, advertise what you do, you know, in a positive manner. Um, Stay out of trouble. You know, you don't want to cause people money that's investing in you. So, yeah, always stay out of trouble, man. Keep God first. And um, just appreciate the gift that God gave you as as an artist. You know, but when I say invest, I mean, get on the radio. You know, if you believe in what you're doing, you're going to go all the way with what you're doing. So, um, just, um, you know, pressing out CDs and mixtapes and all that, that's all right. But, man, you got to get on the airways. You gotta, you know, network with different um, music directors at these stations, um, and always uh, get relationship with DJs, man. Not the DJs that's gonna waste your time and uh, take your money, but get DJs that's really doing, you know, making big moves, boss moves, and that's gonna put you out, you know, as an artist. That's gonna really help you get out as an artist. You know, put your put your music on digital media, you know, iTunes. Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Music, um, Apple Music, you know, you know different different types of um, digital platforms. You can put it out SoundCloud. That's one of the major places to put your music. YouTube, you know, um, get your logo, get your, uh, start branding stuff. You know, you know how we wear other people's clothes. Put your brand on your clothes because I'm I'm actually into the um, in the process. Of getting all that done right now, cause you know y'all gonna see me with Europe everything on the hat, the shades, the shirts, jackets. You know, it's your brand, build your brand hard. You know, it's just like you go hard for everybody, else, go hard for yourself. And um, like I say, take your time and make your music. Get in the lab and just listen to tracks, man. Vibe with the tracks. You know, and um, man, write with 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 some standards, man. Write with some substance. Don't just put junk together for it sound good with a beat. Cause that, that trend of music ain't gonna last, but real music is forever. You know, legendary music. You know, like I, I always resort back to Charlie Wilson and, you know, Gerald LeVert. You know, 
you know, different people of that genre, of that nature. Um, they they still relevant today, man. Even though a lot of them dead and gone, they still relevant. That's why you call them legends, legendary music. It can be played anytime in the world. You know, no matter what what time frame we in, but you know, they still have relevant songs, relevant lyrics, music. So, um, yeah, that's my advice to artists, man. Um, invest in yourself, man. Believe in yourself. And master your crowd. If that's really what you want to do, master your crowd. Paint that picture. Give out some, some positive messages. And um, you go a long way, man. Long way. <laughs>
you know, well, I can come with it, but my biggest thing is, you know, it takes something like this for everybody to want to be safe and clean and not eat everywhere and, you know, wash their hands and you lights out. Man, that stuff grandma and granddad and mom and dad been teach you for years. You know, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, it takes something like that for them people to tell you to be that way and go buy this and go get, you know, different items for your house, man. You, you're supposed to have been already doing that. You know, whenever you sneeze and cough in your hand, you pull to wash your hand, you know, and you can't be all up in people's face, you know, eating from everybody's house and drinking out the people and all that. Come on, man. It take, take something like that for the government to put out there for everybody to want to straighten up. You know, but on the positive side of it, you know, it's it's been about them having to shut down. I got a lot of music written, you know, and it's been, you know, it's been helpful to me on that on that aspect. And, you know, as far as, like, getting acquainted with my family, man, I do that on a daily basis. I don't, I don't need to be on the shutdown to be a family man or be, you know, get acquainted with my wife or, you know, my son or my grandchildren and all this here, man. It, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't, you know, so I heard a lot of people say that, oh, this gonna make people get closer to their families and this, this right here, man. Man, we do that anyway. That's everyday living. You know, but as far as um, just being shut down in the house, man, I, I can say it's been giving me a lot of time to think and, you know, get more sharp with my music, you know, get more knowledge of, about recording, you know, working the studio uh, program and stuff like that. But, man, it's just, it's just everyday life for me, man. I don't, I don't need no state of emergency to help me straighten up. I just live a life, period. Me and my wife live, our son live. You know, we have a good time, eat right, work out, you know. And yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been a blessing at the same time, you know, so. I can't hate on it, it's just, you just gotta watch out. Be safe, keep your family safe. And just clean up out yourself, man. Be, wash them hands, man. You know, it's just, just stay, just stay safe. That's all I can tell people, man. Stay safe. Don't be scared to live. Don't be scared to go outside and all this stuff, man. People keep talking about you can't go outside and deal with people. Come on, man. It's, <laughs> it's a million more viruses and chemicals out there that we breathe in every day, you know, on a daily basis. You know, they talking about the different strands and all this, man. Live your life and just be safe and be clean. That's all I can tell you. Eat right, work out, sweat. Go to sleep, get your rest. That's all you can do. Cause God, God gonna do the rest. Yeah, it's, it's out of our control anyway. Ain't nothing to worry about, so. Yeah, man.